Okay, let's talk about creating a flight plan using Sim EFB Manager. Uh, firstly, if we've created a flight plan already in Flight Simulator and saved it, uh, we can go up here and we can import a PLN file, which would then populate what you're about to see. But uh, I'm about to do it manually. So let's start with categories. Categories. The idea of categories is you can, you know, categorize your flights. Uh, or you may have a whole bush trip so you can create a category and you can put different legs of your bush trip in your flight plan so i'm going to put uh, my flight in here and now we've got an empty category now let's press the add button to add the category now i'm going to fly from key west so i'm just typing in the icoa code and tabbing away uh, if I typed in the start of the airport name, it will also match by that. Now on the right here, we've got an uh, area for a description. So we might want to differentiate this flight from this airport to that airport. And let's put in here just extra descrip description for now. Now right over there on the left here, uh, it says a prefix number. Now if you were creating a bush trip, then you can prefix the each leg with a different number and uh, it then puts them into number order and displays that under the flight plan selection box so let's press ok now cm efb has zipped off and it's got from our online database uh, information on the departure airport so there we can see the runway elevation we can see magnetic variation we can see navigation and comms um, we can also now see the information for the arrival airport too and of course at present we've got no maps in the system so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this button here let's click on google departure airport information and what that's now done is that's just done a predefined search which can actually be altered under the options settings menu in sim efb um, I just want to take, a, say, an aerial shot of the uh, um, departure island. So I'm just going to go grab, and I can move this window over the island there, and that's what I will see in the simulator. Now I'll just press enter. Uh, I can call it aerial if I can type aerial. And there's my aerial shot. Now let's move to the image two. Let's see what else we found. Now it went to uh, Sky Vector. Now Sky Vector is a great source of information. I've just clicked on this um, airport diagram by holding down control, which means it's actually opened in a different tab in my browser. And I'm just going to take the airport diagram. So I'm just going to move my green area there now if you have your own screen grab program you can use that but this just comes with sim efb i'm going to press enter uh, let's put airport in there so if you had your own um, screen grab program then you could just uh, grab it and possibly draw on the image and then press the paste button to paste it in. okay so let's get a sectional um, chart which is down here let's just click on that that gives us, oh, let's just get rid of that. It gives us that there. Let's just zoom in a bit and we're going to go grab. And of course, we can then resize the box and we can have a sectional chart. So now we've got uh, airport sectional. Uh, we could put the approach plates in, which we're not going to use because obviously we're departing. Um, but next time, maybe if we flew back, then we would then have the departure plates in for next time. So let's just, I don't know, let's just take one of these just to show. Uh, let's move to the next one and say, grab that. that approach uh, runway 27 okay so that's got that uh, now of course we could do the same for the arrival airport which um, I would do now our flight plan 
we're a flight plan here we can start typing in there da 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 now if you've if you've seen uh, the demonstration of the panels they have a section so if you enter plus um i don't know uh, let's say we are uh, taking off uh, run uh, runway 27 uh, after take off at 500 feet turn right uh, that would then put that with a nice heading uh, which when expanded would show that now in true uh, blue peter fashion but if you're from anywhere other than england you that mean nothing to you um, i've already created a little bit of text there just to see and show what it's going to appear like now, of course, uh, one thing uh, the sky vector does allow us to do is if we go back to our sectional chart, we can actually come up here, press flight plan, and we can type in here Key West, um, Key West, and we could enter KMTH. And now that's drawn a flight plan uh we can then drag that around i believe somehow here we go so i could say right i'm going to depart on that runway i'm going to fly out to here uh, i'll add that to the plan i'll uh, add that to the plan and i'm basically going to add uh, gps now i believe you could probably export these precise um, coordinates into FS 2012 depends how you really want to use sim EFB you may just want to use it to to show you the charts and the maps in which case you might not need the flight plan information it's entirely up to yourself the way you want to use it but there we've created a little flight plan uh, I'm safe to close that now I can go into my flight plan and of course I could screen grab that flight plan and there we have our flight plan okay there's our flight plan now we've got uh, text in there as the flight plan, but we can take this one step further in that we can actually say see a nav log and uh, Sky Vector will create the nav log. So we could actually take that screen grab of uh, that nav log for display in Flight Simulator. And there. So you've got the choice, you know, you could put in text or you could type text about this nav log or just display this nav log. OK, so let's publish that to Microsoft Flight Simulator. Let's press the Publish button up here. We basically have two choices here. We can publish uh, normal or with VR, which basically enlarges everything um, for VR display. Or we can actually publish to an external panel, so we don't necessarily have to have um, the information in the simulator itself. So let's press uh, to the panels and let's go into the simulator and pull up panel one and there we can see our text from um, our departure airport plus the flight plan notes we typed in followed by our arrival airport and now down the bottom there we can see um, some links to some of the images that we booked in uh, to this flight plan let's pull up a second panel and you can see that's different this is actually optimized for showing charts and maps so here we've got our airport, as we saw uh, the image we put in. We can scroll on that, in and out, and all that sort of business. If we press this little home button here, we can go back, and uh, we could pull up our flight plan. And there's our flight plan, and because because we can zoom in on that, so now we could we could leave that there. And especially if we're in VR, we could now arrange that and put that on our passenger seat beside us or uh, maybe even in the in, in the ceiling so it doesn't obscure any window or instruments within the cockpit um, and now we can pull up our nav log so there we've got our nav log and we could tick that off as we fly through um, and move the map excellent 
anyway thank you very much uh, several different ways of creating a navlog or flight plan within fs 2020